Hey guys, so today I'm here to talk about some of my August favorites. I am going to go ahead and start off with the nail polish that I've been loving, and this is from Nails Inc. This is one of their gel polishes. I got it at Sephora, and it's in the color Regents Place. Um, it just gives a really beautiful, thick, opaque coat in, in just two coats, actually. It looks really good, and it's quite a pastel color, so I feel like um, a lot of them can come out streaky, but this one has been really wonderful. And I have a couple of other colors from this line, but I have loved this color. I've worn it a couple times in a row this month, and I've always got a ton of compliments. So I definitely recommend these Nails Ink Gel Polishes. The next product I'm going to talk about is the foundation that I've been loving this month, and this is the Paracone MD No Foundation Foundation Serum. This is a super lightweight foundation serum. It comes in a dropper, um, and you just apply it. I usually apply it just with my hands. I rub it all over my face in circular motions, which I think is what it says to do on the bottle. That's kind of the instructions they give you. Um, so that's what I do, and I really like it. It does have SPF in it, um, but it just gives a very natural looking finish. And I just find that it's really nice for every day, especially in the summer when you don't want to wear a heavy foundation if you know you're going to be sweating it off. Um, this is a really good alternative that it will just even out your skin and um, I have been loving it this month. The next product I'm going to talk about is kind of random, but it's new to me this month and I've really been loving it. And it is the Tangle Teaser. Um, I ordered this from UrbanOutfitters.com and actually my little stepsister who is like nine years old has one of these. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need one in my life. And if you haven't used one of these, basically it just like glides through your hair. It's amazing. And I just have really, really, really been loving it lately. I use it when my hair is wet. I use it when my hair is dry. If you have knots in your hair, like this just does not tug on them at all. It just goes straight through and brushes your hair really easily. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. The next product I have been loving is these, <laughs> this, it's this NARS um, Albatross Highlighter. It's a light, I would say a pale gold highlight, I guess. I'm actually not wearing it on my cheeks today, but it just comes out very pale gold. Um, let's see. I don't even know if you'll be able to really see it on my hand. But it doesn't come out like heavy glitter or anything. I think it's really flattering, especially if you have yellow undertones in your skin like I do. Um, so yeah, this is the NARS. Um, highlights in Albatross and I got this at Sephora as well. The uh, next two products that I'm going to show you I actually picked up from Ulta and the, the first one is the IT Cosmetics and this has a long name so it is the Tightline Full Lash Length Black Primer with Peptide Enhancing Serum. But it's basically called the It Tight Line, and I actually have the waterproof formula because it is essentially, it's a, it's a very, very thin mascara wand that basically you apply to the very base of your lashes and you kind of stamp it into the root of your lashes to create a tight line effect without actually having to tight line with eyeliner. So it's a very interesting concept, but I've been using it almost every day for work. Um, it's quick. I really hate tight lining my top. Um, my tight line so I just I have been really enjoying using this and because it's waterproof it does stay all day um, but it is kind of hard to get it off at night so that's I guess my only con with this so I might try the one um, in the not waterproof formula if I get through finishing this one so we'll see but I really do like this product and I do like the idea of it it is pretty unique so I would recommend it it's the it uh, tight line the next product that I picked up from Ulta that I'm loving lately is the Lorac Pro 2 palette, and I saw this all over YouTube, it's like, I don't need it, I don't need it, I should use my original Lorac, <laughs> Lorac Pro a couple more times before I buy a second one, because I wasn't really using the first one that much, to be honest. I mean, the colors in there are beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I just found myself reaching for other palettes. Um, but I have been reaching for this bad boy, like, every single day since I got it. The colors in this are beautiful. And you've probably seen this like all over YouTube, so there's no really need for me to like show you the whole thing. But I will just tell you really quickly the colors that I've been reaching for the most. And they are um, buff. I have been using just all over my eyelid. I love this color and even just as a matte highlight, it's really nice. It's just a very pale yellow color. 
Um, I've also been loving the color right next to it, which is light brown. This is really pretty in the crease. Same with basically these three colors in a row are gorgeous in the crease. Light brown, cool gray, and nectar. Nectar is probably the one that I've been using the most. It's like this peachy shade, and it's really, really nice to build up in the crease. All of these shadows are extremely creamy um, and just beautiful to blend and just a dream to work with. I love them. There is some fallout on the actual palette when you're kind of picking it up with the brush, but I really don't mind because the shadows themselves are so buttery. Um, and then the colors on the bottom that I have used the most are probably the beige and the rose are really pretty for all over the lid when you want a little bit of shimmer. And then cocoa I've been using as a liner. So this palette is gorgeous, highly recommend it. I do love the original La Roque Pro palette, but I just find myself reaching for this one a lot more on an everyday basis. So that is why I would go ahead and recommend this one. The next thing that is in my favorites is going to be this Becca Mineral Blush, and this is in the color Damselfly. It is just this really pretty light, like a pinky peachy color. It does have some shimmer in it, but when you put it on your cheeks, it just leaves a really pretty sheen. But this color is just really pretty. Um, I'll go ahead and swatch it for you. And the glitter in it is very finely milled as well, so it doesn't come out like chunky glitter on your cheeks. It's just really, really pretty for every day, and I have just been loving this. The formula of these Becca blushes is amazing. Next I have a hair product to share and this is the Bumble and Bumble Hairdresser's Invisible Oil for sublime softness. It um, also protects your hair from heat. So I just like to put this in my hair once it's dry or sometimes I like to put it in before I blow dry it, but usually I run it through, especially the ends, after I blow dry it or before I like curl or straighten it or whatever. It makes your hair feel really soft um, if you have like split ends and stuff. It just makes the ends look a little bit more polished and tamed. It is a very light oil. It almost looks like really liquidy in the bottle. It doesn't leave your hair feeling greasy or anything. It's really nice and I have really been enjoying it. And I actually got this at my CCO so I don't remember how much I paid for it. I pulled the sticker off but I did get a discount on it. So if you have a CCO near you at an outlet mall I would go try seeing if you can find it there before you buy it at Sephora or something. I have a skincare item now and these are the facial radiance pads from First Aid Beauty or Fab which is one of my absolute favorite skincare lines right now. But these facial radiance pads claim to exfoliate, tone, and brighten. I like using these pads in the morning first thing before I do my makeup and instead of like full on washing my face. So I usually just go all over my face with one of these facial radiance pads. And in this, you get 60. See, I've been using them every single day and I feel like I still have at least like half left. And they're really, really wet. They're very saturated with whatever the solution is and you can use it for all over your face. It is hypoallergenic, it's fragrance free, so I feel like it's not gonna make you break out or anything. Really, really enjoyed using these in the mornings, so these are one of my favorites. And now I have a favorite candle. This is the Capri Blue Volcano Candle. I got this at Anthropology for $28, so I actually didn't know they sold these at Anthropology. I walked in and saw it and I was like, must buy this now, because this candle, guys, it smells so good. I don't even know how to describe the smell to you. It's kind of fruity, but it's very sophisticated and it's very strong. Like it will make your whole house smell amazing. It smells delicious. It really does last a long time. It's a pretty big candle, so, and it only has one wick, so it does burn quite slowly, but it just is so fragrant and amazing. And I just highly recommend this volcano scent by Capri Blue. And I think it also comes in a white jar, but I have the blue one, so. Yeah. Last but not least, I'm going to tell you guys about um, a TV show favorite that I had this month and I hadn't really watched like a whole TV show, like a whole series in a while um, and my boyfriend and I recently just decided to watch uh, Silicon Valley or Silicon Valley which is a show that I think is on HBO. We watched it on HBO Go on my Apple TV and um, they only have one season I believe or they only have one season available on HBO Go and so please let me know if they have more seasons because I absolutely loved the first season. It's hilarious. It's basically about these computer programmers or coders who um, live in Silicon Valley and one of them has you know a genius idea for an app and it explodes and 
that's kind of the basic backstory, but it's a hilarious sitcom. The episodes are only 30 minutes long. Definitely just a hilarious show. It's very like modern and it's just really funny, especially if you're like a computer geek like me. So highly recommend Silicon Valley. And that was honestly it guys for my August favorites. It was an awesome month. I had an awesome Labor Day weekend, but I'm really excited for fall now. I love the cooler weather and dressing for fall and just Halloween and hot chocolate and all that kind of good stuff. So, but I also really enjoyed the summer and I loved all of these products that I just shared with you for the past month of August. Please let me know what you guys love for August. If you made an August video, I would love to see it. An August favorites video that is. So if you did, please post a link down below in the comments. I would love to watch it. Please subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this. I am going to try to post videos more regularly. I've been posting at least one or two a month, but I'm going to try to up it more to like four or five a month at least, so thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see, and I will leave all of the um, products that I mentioned down below in the description bar in case you wanna check any of them out. And I will also leave all of my Twitter and Pinterest and Instagram and all that kind of information down below in case you wanna follow me. So again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.